This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. One of the most amazing things is God's plan. God's perfect plan, where he says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. So I'm here with my friend Katrin, and she and I have been friends together since we were three or four years old. And our actually our moms were friends, so we were put together because of that. And then we grew up in the same church. Mm -hmm. In fact, Katrin, today we were remembering how we both went to the altar that night. Yes. I was almost eight. Together. Together, yeah. and you were almost seven because you're a little bit yeah. younger than me. And how we gave our hearts to the Lord years ago in Beirut, Lebanon. Yes. So yes. we have had such a journey of a life. Yes. And, yeah. and years ago, when we both were not married, the Lord persuaded our parents to let us go to Europe. <laughs> and we went to friends' houses that Daddy knew and places. Yes. And the Lord just protected us. Sorry, we had some mishaps where one place I fell, I remember, you know, yes. I had to have stitches in my head. And we were remembering how the Lord protected us yes. through the years. But today, I'm just amazed because the Lord opened the door where I came to California, of course, to visit family in Pasadena. But the Lord brought me to San Luis Obispo, <laughs> where our friendship grew because we were both college age. Yes. And you helped us, your family helped us, our family settled in San Luis Obispo. And your dad and my dad were such close brothers that the Lord helped him, your dad, helped my dad to settle the family here in San Luis Obispo. And I know how difficult it was for us to leave Lebanon, but the Lord had brought us to America because of the situation in Lebanon. But your daddy and your mom, standing with my mom and dad, helped us to settle here. And looking back, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, and it was one of the best decisions we have made but now we're celebrating because during covid is when you found the one your heart was desiring for and then you guys got married i couldn't be here for the wedding yes that, that was kind of heartbreaking for me yeah and i'm gonna cry oh don't cry because i'm very cry. emotional yeah um but that's you know when god has a plan whether you think it's bad, it really isn't. Yes. And um, that is his plan. And whatever you might think of it, I even had a talk with God and I said, I wait, I'm 63 years old and I got married when I was 63, which is a year and a half, year and two months ago. And I go, you, I waited all this long and you finally brought the man in my life yes. and you bring COVID. And I go, really God? I mean, really? <laughs> and the dreams you had of how yeah. your wedding was gonna be. In fact, your mom yes. made my wedding dress, yes. but the way your mom would say to us when we were younger, I'm gonna make your wedding dresses. And she made mine and yeah. we waited for you and the Lord brought the man in your life, Rail at the right time but then yeah. somehow you were in my wedding but i couldn't even come, come to, to your, your wedding, wedding. Yeah. but the part of that verse that we just seem to sometimes not get it where it says there are plans for good not to harm you but to give you an expected end and so we have to trust the lord yes that his plans are good good yeah and you have to and you know i have I guess every woman plans their wedding, whether you have one or not. Yes. And uh, all my plans were completely different. Uh, all my plans, had, God said no to. And, uh, but the final plan turned out to be better than what I even hoped for. Even though I couldn't have uh, Hasmik with me. But there was a surprise at our wedding that she made a video oh, yeah. and uh, so we could, you know, the video was projected uh, on a TV and I didn't even know about it. So that was a wonderful surprise. And that's what's so great about technology. Yeah. And uh, so, but God had the most beautiful place for us to get married outside in, in the trees and uh, which I, I didn't even think that 
it could be that beautiful but god had it so planned out but at the beginning when i was planning it it was the way i thought i wanted <laughs> like like madonna, madonna in, in which is a big um, and while we were in college, college that yeah. was one of the places we loved to go yeah. and people wanted to get married there and yeah. Yeah. We are in downtown San Luis Obispo, so lots of beautiful things going on. And, a lot of, um, and our first date was at Madonna Inn, and so that's oh, where we wanted to. There, yeah, yes. so that's where we wanted to get married. They had a garden and a reception area. So, uh, but the place that we found because of COVID, it had to be a smaller people, not too many people. You know, my 250 people Armenian wedding didn't happen, yeah. <laughs> but uh, a smaller family gathering did. And you know what? It became more intimate. And it wasn't like, you know, I didn't even, if I had the 250, I wouldn't even know who was there probably. Yeah. Uh, but you know, God's plan, is always perfect whether you think of it at the moment or not looking back yeah even our move to san luis obispo because i used to think oh i miss the mountains and i miss and we are only like 15 minutes away from the pacific ocean here yeah but more than that at cuesta college of course Cal Poly is here which is such a big university yes. but i went to cuesta college which every time i walk out of my classes the huge mountains I could see. And I said, wow, Lord, you brought me here. And there was such a healing. Mm -hmm. So San Luis Obispo has been such a dear place to my heart. And today we were just walking the streets and saying how exciting to just go back and remember places. And, and your mom and dad, you guys moved when you were young. I remember going mm -hmm. to the airport when you were moving to America. Yeah, and was, you came here. Yeah, to I was Sanders, 10. 10 years old. Yeah. So, But our friendship has continued because I believe God put us together at such a time that she has been such an encouragement to me. I never had a sister, and I can say the Lord placed Katrin in my life as a younger sister that so spoke the truth in my life. And that's the kind of friends we need. You, We need friends that, yes, love the Lord, push us towards the Lord, towards the word, but also speak truth in our life at times when we need to hear it. And you've yes. been that in my life. So I am so thankful for that. And it, it goes both ways though. You have been that in my life too. And um, I think what you said, speaking the truth. Uh, sometimes we want something so much that the blinders come on and we don't see it. And yeah. when somebody says, stop and look and see, and then you, you have to because that person is Jasmine and he you know and she knows the truth yes she knows God's truth and when she comes with the God's truth you don't have a choice except listen to it and and <laughs> yeah the same way with you speaking into my life and there is a verse um, I had my Bible but it's in the car where it says speaking the truth in love when someone's speaking the truth, is it judgmental or they are doing it with love like the Lord wants us to do? And so that has been such an incredible gift mm -hmm. that the Lord put us together in our uh, life to just be, and we don't see each other, but every few years. Exactly. But our friendship just picks up yeah. at the same place yeah. as if we left it off. And um, yeah, we're far away, but I'm so thankful that the Lord brought me here and we could be together and um, just sharing our hearts together. And uh, yeah, and to see you in your new home in Morro Bay and uh, to see how the Lord brought you and Rail together and to watch that because you waited for God's best. You waited for God's best. There were situations where you didn't settle. The same way with me, I waited for Terry and when he came, I said, wow, Lord, thank you for stopping me before I made a mistake and I waited for his best. Mm -hmm. And yeah. now we both can say, yeah, we waited for God's best. best. Yeah. And his yeah. plans are the best. And sometimes the waiting is hard, 
it, yes, it is hard, but but when it comes, it's beautiful. Yeah. And and I, to be honest, I had given up. <laughs> At 63, you're just gonna say, you know, the probabilities probably. Point zero 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 one. <laughs> not with the Lord. Not, not with, the, with Lord. the Lord. But the probability was, you know, not going to happen. Um, but at the same time, I have, I was contented to uh, to say, okay, Lord, if this is what you have for me, this is what you have for me. And uh, so the. You know, I you it, were content because I, I remember content. you and Ray last night. You were sharing how you did meet each other, and it was at the right time. Yeah. In both your journeys, you met at the right time, and how the Lord brought you where it was so natural. Yeah, and then you knew, you knew, yeah, you knew, I, you knew. He I knew one. it from day one. Yes, <laughs> and, and I don't. You know, I never thought it would be that way, but people said, "You will know." And uh, and I did. The Lord just spoke to me, and uh, in a way, I even proposed to Him. <laughs> <laughs> That's because, funny. No, because He would say, "If this works out between us, if this works out," and I finally one night told Him, "I go, you know what? I'm tired of hearing if." Just to let you know, I am going to marry you, but I don't know when. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes yeah, so. it's that unsure feelings he was having because I knew he was pursuing you yeah. with all his heart, but just the way. And now to see you both just so happy together. And I pray that the Lord will bless you both and let you have your ministry together because I yes. know that's the desire of your heart Absolutely. where God is leading you in his plan and that is what is so beautiful to watch yes, yes. so yes. i'm so excited Patrick, that we got to do this because it has been on my heart i've said lord i want to go to san luis obispo i want Katrin and i to share how you brought us together and what a journey it has yes. been so the lord bless you today be encouraged if you're waiting on god's best just wait on him and at the same time he teaches us to lean and trust Him in our every decision. Be blessed. The Lord bless you.